Hey lovelies, you are welcome back again to my channel. This video is a quick one. There was an update um, just um, about a few days ago. This period has just been a season of updates, 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 and uh, they are beneficial ones actually. So um, if today is your first time of coming across this channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are most welcome. Without wasting much time, let's quickly go into today's video. Precisely on the 6th of June this year, the Minister of IRCC made a very big announcement and the announcement is that 13 more countries will now qualify for visa-free travel to Canada. Before now, there used to be like 50 countries but 13 now have been added and the essence of this is to create more opportunities for those that want to come visit Canada, do business, come for leisure, come for tourism, those that have their dependents there, they can come, you know, bonding and they're even schooling. So they are just trying to encourage all this. That's why more countries have been added. But then you may want to know what is um, visa free or what, when they say visa free, what do they really mean? Let me quickly explain that. These countries that are visa free don't require visa from the name visa free but rather they need a digital document called ETA, that is Electronic Travel Authorization. And this you can get from um, their site online and then you have to be qualified for this. The qualification is that you need to have a valid international passport, a credit card, an email address, a valid email address and access to internet. So when you have all these things in place and you apply, within minutes, you should get your ETA. So ETA is mainly for those that want to travel to Canada or transit through Canada. This ETA application is used by Canadian officials to do pre-screening of those that want to travel by air. It only costs 7 Canadian dollars and you can get it within minutes. The condition is that travelers from these countries need to have held a Canadian visa in the last 10 years or hold a valid United States non-immigrant visa to be able to apply for this ETA. This decision taken by the Minister of IRCC will help reduce the load on the other aspects of visa application and they will not be able to process all those ones more efficiently. For those that have valid visa they can continue to use it to travel into canada i'll just be listing out the countries that are now qualified for visa free travel to canada philippines morocco panama antigua and baduda saint Kitts and nevis saint lucia saint vincent and grenadines trinidad and tobago argentina costa rica uruguay saint chile's and Thailand. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this update. If you are new to this channel, please join this beautiful family by hitting the subscribe button and also on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please like, comment and share this video. See you in my next one. Bye!